So most people have an unhealthy relationship with food. Look, 77% of our country is overweight. Uh, yeah, I think that's a problem, and I think most of them have an unhealthy relationship with food. So what does that even mean? Having an unhealthy relationship with food, it that's vast. That covers a lot of different areas. But it's very common. You're not weird. You're in good company. A lot of people struggle with this. That's why we created the course, What's Eating You? My dad, Larry Terhurst, is an LCPC, and he created this emotional eating course for you to be able to do in the privacy of your own home. So you can go to our website, coderedlifestyle.com, and check that out after this video. I, I have struggled with having an unhealthy relationship with food. When I lived in New York City, I was so stressed and my anxiety was so high that I me medicated, I dealt with my anxiety and my stress by eating an entire pound of peanut M&Ms every single night while I laid in bed. Yes, I know, it's crazy. Well, I had to go to counseling for that and get to the bigger issue. Why was I doing that? What was I trying to cover up? What was I trying to deal with? Look, Code Red Rebels, we don't reward ourselves with food and we don't punish ourselves with food. Food is fuel. But you could have had years and even decades or a lifetime of behaviors and bad relationship with food. So we're undoing a lot of years of damage when you go through the what's eating you emotional eating course and when we deal with this kind of behavior. A way you can deal with an unhealthy relationship with food is ask yourself, why am I feeling this at this exact moment? Am I dehydrated? Do I need to drink more water? Am I bored? Do I have anxiety? Am I being triggered by something? I know that personally, when I have to have a meeting with my accountant about taxes, that triggers me to want to eat. So knowing what my triggers are, which is what you will learn in the course, What's Eating You, learning your triggers will help you get out in front of that behavior so you don't emotionally eat. If you don't identify them, you don't know what it is that makes you emotionally eat. You don't know. <laughs> You've got to find out what those are first. I mean, uh, if my triggers are taxes, uh, maybe your trigger is your mother-in-law. So you, every time you have to meet your mother-in-law for lunch, you overeat on the chip basket at the, at the uh, Mexican restaurant, for example. Well, the way that you can handle that, if you know that your mother-in-law is a trigger, make sure that she comes over to your house in an environment that you can control. Or meet your mother-in-law at the park while your son plays, you guys visit on a, on a park bench where there's no food at all available for you to emotionally eat on. Identifying your triggers is job one. You've got to figure out what it is that makes you want to emotionally eat. Without knowing that, you can't stop the behavior. You've gotta find out the behavior first. If you do choose to get the What's Eating You course, I would advise you to go slowly. Do not binge watch the course. Make sure you take your time one section at a time, one course at a time. It's a five part series. Do the homework, take your time, process what you're doing because it's a lot and it's not meant to be binged on. During our 10 pound takedown challenge, not only will you hear me teaching every day, but you're also going to hear from our Code Red certified coaches. And a few of them have very, very interesting and helpful insights when it comes to emotional eating. So that's another reason why you need to be on the 10 pound takedown challenge so you can get all the tools that you need to get you past this hang up in your life and make it to where you don't go around this mountain again. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and better yet, subscribe to my channel. That way you're notified when I release a new video. But let's talk. I want to hear from you. Comment below. Are you brave enough? Tell me your triggers. I told you my triggers. What are your triggers? Once you identify your triggers, you can stop the behavior before it takes place. So comment below. Let us know what are your triggers for emotional eating and I'll see you in the next video.